Hi friends, welcome to another video of Code Legend. In this video, we are looking at a very simple topic that is properties. So we'll try to understand in detail what exactly are properties in C Sharp and why we need properties and why can't we just use variables. So the properties definition given by Microsoft says class members that provide a flexible mechanism to read, write or compute the value of a private field. I think the definition is not that clear. So in an, another way you can understand this like properties are a combination of variable and method. So it can be used as like a variable to store some values but it gives some extra additional features which normally will be available only in methods. So we will try to understand this in detail uh, when we go through the code. Meanwhile you can just look at the right side where we have given the definition how you can define properties in two different ways. One is without variable and one is with variable. So this is one way of writing properties wherein you specify the access, uh, access modifiers that is public, private or something. Normally we use public because properties we normally use to expose data outside the class. So it will say public and the data type that is string or int or whatever type of data type you want similar to variables and the name. And we generally try to name it as in camel casing that is the first letter as capitals and rest all smalls. So this is the naming convention given by Microsoft and curly braces get semicolon set semicolon. So uh, this is the way you write a simple property or there is a way, another way of writing wherein you first declare a private variable and then you declare the uh, property with the similar name. So here it is private string underscore name and then public string name. And here again inside the body there will be a getter and setter but for getter there will be a body so you will have parenthesis and setter also there will be a body and here you will return the variable which you have declared and in the setter you will use that variable and you will assign is equal to value so this value is a keyword so it's a reserved word so whatever values we set it to this property will be stored into this variable so we will see this in detail in the code and meanwhile you can uh, uh, keep in mind that there is a shorthand way of writing these properties in Visual Studio. So if you type PROP and press tab two times you will get the complete definition of this uh, properties written there. So you need not type everything manually and for this kind of uh, definitions you can type prop full and press tab two times. So let's jump into the Visual Studio and see uh, how this works. So I'm in Visual Studio now. Uh, this is a simple console application. So for now, I will just define a class, so maybe a public class and I will name it as employee. So in employee, so maybe I have a requirement to st store the name and the salary. So I will say string name and uh, maybe double salary. So these are the two variables available and I will have a constructor so for constructor as well there is a shorthand way of writing so you can say CTOR and there will be an option coming in the IntelliSense just press tab two times and automatically the constructor will be created so here I will say salary equal to 10,000 so this is the default value which I am giving for the salary now in some other class I can instantiate this and say employee EMP1 equal to new employee so this I have created and now if you want to assign the values to the name and salary so when you press emp1 you don't get that here because these by default in the class the variables are private so to just give the access you will define this as public so this you can declare it as uh, public variables and the moment you declare it as public you will get the name and salary here so i'll use this name and i'll give it as some value thomas and I will do a console.write line here. So for console.write line, again, there is a shorthand way of writing. So you can just type CW and there will be an IntelliSense prompt and you can press tab two times automatically console.write line will be typed. So here I will uh, put a string and here I will print a statement like emp1.name uh, has salary of maybe this emp1 dot salary 
so this is the statement which i am printing and when you run this so this statement will be printed with all these values so you will get thomas has salary of 10000 why the value 10000 because in the class it constructor itself we have instantiated it uh, sorry the default value we have instantiated so now there is a glitch here so if we don't want anyone else to override this salary from outside so uh, anyone to uh, modify this salary from outside so this should be controlled inside this class so this will be violated here it's because the way moment you say emp1 dot salary you can assign any value here so i can modify it to 3000 and the data will be modified so if you want to restrict this one option is making this private but in that case even this will give an error so if you see the moment i make this private here also it will be uh, giving an error so that means you cannot access this salary outside this class anywhere not even for just viewing so to solve this problem the properties come in to help so i will remove this and i will create a property with the same name so i'll say prop so now you can see this is a shorthand way of writing property so you can just type prop and press tab two times so here again you will see by default the data type is highlighted and the when you press tab your name will be highlighted so if you keep pressing tab it will switch between these two so don't press enter and you keep pressing tab you will switch between these so you keep the focus on the data type and just type your data type and don't press enter just press tab and now you can type the name you want for this and you can keep switching between this and the moment you are done just press enter you will come out of that loop so now this salary is available outside so now there is no error but here you can see there is a getter and a setter so getter means uh, giving this value outside setter means setting this value inside so if you don't want anyone else to set value from anywhere else for this only in this class you want it to be allowed you can remove this set or you can make this as private set so the moment i remove it you can see this guy will give an error that property salary cannot be assigned it is read only but the way we are printing it it is allowing because the getter is there so you comment this and you run this you will get the default value so now you have protected your data from outside world that nobody else can be can al be allowed to modify this but now suppose you have a requirement like uh, i have a property maybe like int and this will be experience so now i want to set that experience here mp1 dot experience is equal to 6 and i'll modify the print statement in such a way that emp name uh, with so and so years of experience so i will say emp1 dot experience years of experience has salary of this much so now when you run this it will print like this but in this situation what if someone sets this to negative value that will also be accepted so in such situations you want to do a validation for that so then you can use instead of using this kind of uh, property definition use the expanded way so therefore that instead of typing prop there is another way of uh, another shorthand which is available that is prop full so just keep the focus on prop full or just type prop full and press tab two times so now you will see there is a variable which is created which is private and there is a property which is created that is public so if you keep pressing tab you will see it is uh, shuffling between the data type the name of the uh, variable and the name of the property so you can change this to any data type so automatically the properties data type also will be changed so as of now for this we will keep it as int and i'll press tab and here i will rename it to experience so underscore experience because it's a private variable and i will rename my property to capital letter experience so now this is similar to how we had the property before so now this guy doesn't give an error but now you want to do some validation so here you have a body for the setter so what i can do in this is whenever a value is set from somewhere outside for this property 
this value which you supply here will be internally available in the value keyword so i can do a check for this value keyword so if i say if value is greater than or equal to zero allow it to set to the private variable if it is a negative value that is else then i will set the experience uh, variable to zero that means if the value is zero or positive then accept that value but if someone sends a negative value don't accept that value set it to default as zero so now if you set here to some negative value like minus three and you run it you will see the default it is set to zero so this is how you can do a validation using uh, properties so now you can see uh, how you can use uh, val how you can use properties to control the data so that is nothing but uh, fulfilling the encapsulation of object oriented programming and also you can use properties to do some validations so i hope properties is clear so if you like this content uh, do like the video and uh, put some comments and if you like our videos do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you are notified for the future videos thank you